guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impressions of a new product I saw when I was shopping. So I grabbed up a couple shades because I was really intrigued by them and I wanted to share them with you guys. So the product I'm going to be doing a first impressions on today is going to be these new L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paints. They remind me a little bit the packaging and everything of like the melted uh, Too Faced lip paints. So I was really intrigued to try these out. They definitely have a lot of fun colors. These are new. I just saw them a few days ago, grabbed up a few shades so I could try them. You guys are see my first impressions and also how they apply and look on the lips so if you'd like to see all that then go ahead and keep on watching this video so these are supposed to have a lacquered lip finish I'm usually a matte girl so this will be interesting because I don't usually go for the shiny finishes so we are just gonna go ahead jump right in so I grabbed four shades of these I got topless which is a pretty Looks like a brown nude. I got Spicy Blush, which is a more pinky nude. I got Lilac Lust, which is a very true lilac uh, lavender shade. And then I got Domineering Teal, which is supposed to be a bright blue teal. So these two, I'm really excited to see the color payoff and see how they actually look on the lips. So let's jump right on in and see how these bad boys apply. I'm gonna start crazy first. I'm gonna go Domineering Teal, because I'll probably keep a nude on if I'm gonna wear one today. So we'll jump in with something crazy. When you open these, they have a, uh, doe foot applicator you can see the pigment on that bad boy Woo! that is gonna be crazy good lord let's just dive right in with this bad boy oh damn this is like blue so they're de <laughs> oh my gosh so they're definitely very they're a lot thinner than I thought they're gonna be I thought the consistency was gonna be a lot thicker even though they have a ton of color payoff, they're still a little sheer. Like, I feel like it doesn't go on 100% even, but these smell pretty good. I feel like it smells like blueberries, but maybe it's just because my mouth looks like a f smurf right now. That could be it too. Okay, this is fun, but is it my favorite thing in the world? No, um, I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like this wouldn't wear very well long term either, but let's jump to another color and we'll see how that goes. Sometimes different colors have different finishes, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and let's give Lilac Lust a try, see if this one is a little bit better. Oh, still with that color payoff. <laughs> okay, this one's not quite as bad. The teal is just not doing it. I feel like the lighter shades in this are definitely a little more flattering and a little bit easier to wear. Um, this one's pretty fun. It's not as sheared out and weird looking as far as color payoff um, like the teal one was. So I don't hate the lilac. So points for that. I, I'm honestly probably going to wear this one because this is, it's a fun color. I feel like this would be really good in spring and summer too though. Okay, so the lilac, not so bad. Next we're going to do spicy blush, which is this kind of pinky rose nude I guess so this one will probably be one of my faves of the four yeah the more neutral shades ooh okay I do like this the more neutral shades in this are definitely a little easier to apply and wear and the color payoff looks more natural and more flattering okay I really like this one yeah okay I like this one a lot this is really cute I do like the texture of all these though. They're very comfortable. I feel like these would be good for dry winter lips for sure over maybe if you feel like a liquid lipstick is too drying. Okay, this is this is good. Not striking, nothing too crazy, but an everyday neutral. This is a really cute color. Okay, and last we're gonna do topeless. This is like my normal go-to shade. I like the topes, I like the grayish. So I had a feeling I was gonna like this one a lot. So we will see how this one applies. I didn't do a swatch on the last one, sorry, but. Oh, this is a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like this could be a really good fall shade, so let's throw it on and see. Yeah, this one is really nice too. It's still a neutral, but it has that kind of fall grayish, um, purple nude undertone to it. These are kind of reminding me of the um, Intense Butter Glosses from NYX. They have the same color payoff and they're still really comfortable like that. So I do really like this one too. Okay, not a total bust. The teal, not so much. I feel like the color payoff in it is just not, mm, nope, not gonna do it, not gonna happen. I kind of feel this way about some liquid lipsticks too, that um, lighter shades are easier to wear, the color payoff is better, they just, they really don't nail it on the colors as much, but 
the lighter, more neutral shades are a little more flattering in these four shirts. No, but yes. So this is not a complete bust. If you're going to try these out, I would definitely say these are a little bit more wearable, um, more realistic for wearing throughout the day and not worrying about have to touch up. I feel like that teal you would be worrying about all day. I feel like because it's not matte, it would move and it would just be like shearing out and ooh, just leave the teal be gone leave it alone but these are pretty legit these are kind of cool um, these are about ten dollars and they do carry them at Ulta so jump on in get your points I will link online um, where you can order these too and I will list all these shades down below in the description bar on YouTube thank you guys so much for watching this video today I hope you enjoyed it give me some comments down below if you have tried these or if you're going to try them give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything else make sure you're following me on all my other social media because I post a lot but until next time I will talk to you guys later bye I have no lips on right now and I feel like I have no mouth I have no lips I don't even know where these words are coming from because my mouth doesn't exist right now I always tell everyone when I'm working that if I don't have lipstick on or if I have on something that is too light on my lips that lip liner I feel like Voldemort from Harry Potter like oh Voldemort <laughs>